What's up, people? Brewing Daddy back at it again. Here we are. We are bottling up our dead ringer. Yes, sir. We are going to bottle up our dead ringer by Northern Brewer. So, what we got going on here, this is what we got for supplies. 12 of our amber Northern Brewer bottles. And then, which I review in another video. We got 12 black Northern Brewer caps. I also review that with the bottles in another video. Our bottle capper. This also came from Northern Brewer. By the way, I'm not a spokesperson for them. I don't get paid by them or anything. I just like their products. And I do review a lot of their products, so check out those videos also. Um, we have some fizz drops. Came with our recipe. And then also we have our filling tube here our bottling tube and uh, tubing and our filler uh, we're letting that soak and I just got to work it down in there make sure we get fluid in it all the way we're working on that and then we're gonna get all our bottles in the sanitation solution that's a mix of water and iodine sanitation product but we'll get that going we're gonna get all these in there I think we got our tubing pretty much filled. Got all the air out of it. Just have to keep raising it and putting it back down in there until you quit hearing air go inside of it. And we're looking pretty good right now. All right, so we'll get our bottles in here. You want to fill them up and get all the air out of them. Kind of a slow process. That's why it's always good to have a beer while so you fill your bottles. If you ever see a video with me out of, without a beard or something, my wife put me on restriction. Uh, she would never do that. She knows I get grumpy if I don't have my beer. In this solution, we have to let it sit in here for about three to four minutes. Let it soak good. All, all of our stuff will get pulled out and air dry. You don't have to rinse it with this iodine cleaner or sanitizer, which is something I really, really like about it. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but my uh, the only thing it's, it's stained has been my tubing, and I don't care about that. I mean, it can, I could always replace that. It's pretty cheap. A lot of folks think that the iodine sanitizers are bad because of that. So I'm staining. Surprised my hands aren't orange <laughs> as much as I use it, but no, they're not. They're probably very clean though, but they're not orange. All right, last bottle. So we'll uh, we'll let these soak for a little bit. We'll set up our uh, fermenter over here on our stand to elevate it, and then uh, we'll let these air dry. And then we'll start transferring our beer into our bottles and put our fizz drops in and put our caps on and we'll be rolling. Uh, so our bottles have air dried for a few minutes. I think we're pretty good shape. These are brand new bottles. so uh, They were fairly clean to start with. We just still needed to sanitize them. Definitely an important step. Fermenter set up here. We're gonna pull our airlock out just to make the flow go a little easier get our dead ringer into our bottles a little bit faster so we'll get we'll turn the spigot on and get these things filling we should get we should get right at about uh, 11 or 12 beers out of this Looks like all of our air bubbles are finally coming out. It takes a minute to get it get it flowing good. But it's moving. Gotta elevate. I, I don't like doing this on the floor. Some people will set their fermenter on the counter. And uh, I'm too old for that. <laughs> my, my back, I, I can't handle that. So I come up with this idea. I stole a plant stand from my wife. She don't know about it, so nobody tell her. 
she's got so many damn plants and stands, she she don't know the difference. So uh, don't tell her, she'll be okay. But anyways, it works great for this. It's nice and sturdy. Most of these plant stands are really strong. And uh, I could I could put a five gallon on there easy and it won't it won't bother. So uh, another another use for a plant stand. <laughs> I bet they never thought that that would be a use for it when they made those things. Sometimes you got to be uh, creative. And th this brew, as hoppy as it is, it's fairly clear. Uh, it's not like our zombie dirt recipe. Man, that zombie dirt recipe, it was really, really, I was shocked when I tasted the first one. I didn't even know what to think, it was so good. It was hard to believe I, I, I put that together, but uh, kudos to Northern Brewer for a great recipe. I, I'd say right now, that's my favorite. Uh, haven't tried this one yet. I think this is gonna be similar, but uh, it's my favorite Northern Brewer recipe so far. I like the squish too. Squish is a really good recipe. I'm gonna do that one in a five gallon. And I will be having a video of that one. Along with uh, reviewing some products that I got from Northern Brewer. So be on the lookout. Make sure you subscribe. Because there's always gonna be videos coming out. Uh, I, I'm in the south so, you know, I, I like to fish and camp and boating and all kinds of outdoor stuff shoot guns used to hunt but don't do that much anymore but in the winter time i don't have a whole lot to do and this is my new winter time hobby but uh weather's starting to warm up so i don't know i gotta decide what's most important the boat has not left the garage yet, and it's already April, so that tells you I've been brewing a lot of beer. Uh, brewing Daddy ain't going nowhere. We're going to be back here making beers for you. We're going to be posting a video at least once a week. If we don't post it once a week, we'll post two every two weeks or something like that. But we'll get them out to, out to you. Uh, when I first started, doing these and I haven't done it long. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier and I thought I could do it with a lot less than uh, what I have now. And I realized very quickly that this is almost a second job, you know, if I'm gonna to commit to it. And I think I've reached a point where I'm pretty much committed. There ain't no turning them back now. Uh, so hopefully people like what they see. Either way, it's a fun hobby. I, you know, always wanted to get into it. I'm 50, almost 52 years old, and always thought about it. But my wife always gave me a lot of grief, and I work with some great, great people, and uh, they all went together. They all knew. They, they all knew. One of them knew that it was something that I've always wanted to get into. So at Christmas they uh, went all chipping in together and bought me a, a starter kit and good lord <laughs> they created a monster that's all I can say. Uh, it, they created a monster. It, it blew up pretty fast. But it looks like I, th I think I have a knack for it so and I enjoy it. I enjoy drinking them. You know, I enjoy sharing them with family and friends. Them same people that chipped in together and gave me the starter kit for a Christmas present, they, they get to sample all the beers and uh, I think it's a nice payback for them. They're getting a, getting a return on their investment. Plus they got some Brewing Daddy merchandise too. Check out our website. We do have hats and shirts and aprons and all that good stuff. So if you want to support our channel, you know, brewing these beers is not cheap. You know, I, I spend quite a bit. The wife reminds me every day. So, uh, I'm not begging for anything, but if you want to support the channel, 
check out the merchandise. I think this stuff's pretty cool. I'm gonna be adding some new stuff. I got some ideas for some, some beer brewing merchandise. So uh, check out brewingdaddy.com and you'll see what we got. I've got a link there on the top of the page for our merchandise. Like this hat I'm wearing. I love trucker hats. All right, so we are getting to the bottom of this one. And I'm gonna get 12 beers out of this, I think. It's looking like it. It is looking like it. And I'm not gonna have to push it too much. All right, it's time for our fizz drops. So we're gonna stick in one fizz drop for each bottle. Try to make sure your hands are as clean as possible. Try not to stick my hand in the bag. We're gonna have some left over. All right, so time to put our caps on. We'll get those going. Ended up with 12 beers exactly. Good thing we had 12 bottles ready. <laughs> you never know, sometimes you don't get it. Sometimes you only get 10, sometimes you get 11. I push it. As you can see, the fermenter is very close to empty. Dead ringer. Let's hope it's a dead ringer. I'm gonna drink it. I mean, once you do this, there's nothing left to do but wait. It's a waiting game then. And uh, if you did everything right, I have a nice brew to drink. These one gallon batches are really not great for making enough beer to really like consume on a high level. But if you want to try something, I always try one gallon before I'll even think about buying a five gallon. We're all bottled up, man. This is it. 12 bottles of Dead Ringer. Fizz dropped up and ready to go. I'm going to be putting them back in the box. And in two weeks, we are going to share opening one up. It's nice and ice cold. Pouring it in the glass and taking that first sip of it. Let's crack it open. See how it turned out. Got that hiss. Smells good. Looks pretty clear actually. Did leave a little bit in the bottom. Lots of carbonation. That's what it looks like up close. Color looks good. It's pretty clear. I'm actually surprised how clear it is. Very, very clear. Lots and lots of bubbles. Gosh, it smells hoppy too. I think this is going to compare to the uh, zombie dirt, but a lot cleaner. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, I like that. It's hoppy, and it's probably more hops than most people would like. Not quite on the level of zombie dirt, but maybe a notch down. But clean. Clean and kind of refreshing. Not, a, not much of an aftertaste, but uh, just got the right amount of hops. I like this one. We appreciate you spending time with us while we brewed and bottled this one. And please hit that thumbs up button for this video and subscribe so you'll get notifications of more great videos that we're going to be putting out. And check out BrewingDaddy.com for more content. Peace out, people. We'll see you next time.